Hey, it's Dancers and Anthony Rose. Today we're doing some two-step for you guys. Now this is a core element of two-step that is pretty much contained in everything. It's called a whip. It is one you need to know, so yes. stick around. All right guys, so the pattern we're teaching today is called a whip pattern. It is included in a lot of the other videos that we've done here on the channel. But we realized like we've never actually taught this thing to you guys Let and it is it. definitely one that you guys need to know. Now, if you're brand new to this channel, we teach all of the different country dances from two step to West Coast swing to Waltz country swing, all that stuff. But you can notice this little button down there and it says subscribe. Now, if you click that button, then you become a next dancer and you'll know when all the awesome stuff happens on the channel. So we're gonna demonstrate it and then we're gonna break it down. All right guys, so whip pattern has multiple different variations. This is called a whip with an inside turn. It's gonna look like this. All right guys, so you're gonna notice first of all, this pattern doesn't really break away from the core rhythm of the dance, which if you are brand new, this is probably not the best video for you to watch, but uh, the core rhythm of the dance is quick, quick, slow, slow. Two quicks, two slow. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start in this promenade position. So this is our line of dance. We're both facing this direction. Your typical promenade looks like this. I typically have a little bit of a more relaxed handhold. But we're gonna do our basic step for quick, quick, slow. And then we're gonna lead her forward one more time as I bring my feet together. So what I'm doing, when I bring my feet together on that last one, she's still moving forward. So that allows her to actually get a little bit more in front of me. That's gonna change our alignment just a little bit. So if we're here, if you watch our feet, we're gonna go quick, quick, slow. She steps forward again as I step together. Now from here, I'm gonna step in place for quick, quick as I send her for an inside turn for quick, quick. We both step for slow and then we separate moving away from each other for slow. Now this part, we've got to have some amount of elasticity. By elastic, it's kind of like taking a rubber band and stretching it. Rubber bands are not thumpy, so you don't want it to go thump at the end of that. You want to get into that position. It's kind of like you're stretching that rubber band because we're going to actually use that energy to redirect it the other way. So if we show you that again, again, that core rhythm again is quick, quick, slow, slow. We have quick, quick, slow, slow, and quick, quick, slow, and slow. All right, so we wanna show you a close up of the prep for this. Prep means to prepare. We have to prepare her to turn, okay? So on that second it. slow, when we're moving forward, we're gonna go quick, quick, slow. And on that second slow, I'm gonna prep her away from me. So I'm actually taking her body and opening it up away from me. And then I can use that energy to send her through that turn. So we have quick, quick, slow. I bring my feet together as I prep her away from me. Now I'm gonna stay in place for that inside turn for quick, quick. I step slightly towards her and then move away to, to actually separate. Now this needs to feel elastic because we're using this like we're stretching that rubber band because the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna actually release the energy from that rubber band. Now, so if you watch her step when she comes in from this whip horse, so if we're stepping away from each other, she's actually gonna step forward for that first quick and then she's gonna step basically on this side and turn all the way around in between the two quicks. So she's going step and there's half a turn. Now what I'm doing is I'm actually gonna turn a quarter of a turn. Okay, so she's turning all the way around. Like she's facing this way, she's gonna face that way. I'm facing her, but I'm gonna turn one quarter and I'm gonna cross my right foot in front of my left. So we have this separation and we have quick, quick. Now, if you look, she is facing that direction and I'm facing you. I'm on my right foot, she's back on her left. Now from here, we have to have that same elasticity to where she's actually leaning away from me. She's now gonna step forward as I turn around to face her. So she's actually stepping in between my feet. Let me show you that close up. All right, so she's coming towards me as I kind of step to the side. Then she's gonna do a half of a turn as I step a quarter and actually cross that foot in front. Now I'm facing the outside. Now she's gonna now replace her weight onto that right foot as I step all the way across. Her foot actually is positioned in between my feet. All right guys, so we have to talk about alignments a little bit, which actually leads into our tracks, okay? So if you think about this being the line of dance, this is like a railroad track that goes straight through. This track, she is pretty much always going to stay on it for the most part, not always, but most of the time she's going in that direction, okay? Now here, when we get into this elasticity here and we're stretched, I am sharing her track. She's gonna stay on that rail, but I've gotta get off of the track here. Now I'm completely off the track. She has traveled through. Now she's gonna come back through that track, but what I gotta do is step over the track to get to that other side for that slow, all right? 
Now she's gonna step forward one more time when she gets to that. I'm all the way on this side of the track. I'm gonna turn another quarter of a turn and stay off the track as I step to the side. Now notice, she is still not past me. That's super important. So when we get to that position where we're here, we're getting ready to come across, she is on that side of me. She's gonna stay on that side of me. She comes a little bit closer, but now I'm gonna turn a quarter of a turn and keep her on that side. Now you notice my hand has come up. We'll talk more about that in a second, but I've gotta stay here in this position because she is going to pass me now for that second inside turn. She's on this side of me and she's gotta get to that side. As I step in place, in place, I'm gonna step back into the track and then I'm gonna follow her for that next basic. All right, so let's talk about leading this turn. Now, here's what we gotta talk about when it comes to leading. Leading is letting her know what she is going to do, then what she's doing, never what she should have done, okay? No so you gotta let her know she's gonna do something, all right, before she actually does it, and then when you want her, you, know, you gotta tell her to do the thing, okay? So when she comes in, I'm gonna bring that hand up in an important time. So we have quick, quick. When I step across, I'm gonna go ahead and bring the hand up because not that she's turning, but you're gonna, you're gonna turn. Now I'm gonna leave it there for that slow. You are gonna turn and now you are. All right guys, let's go through this again and then we'll break down the footwork a little bit more. So we have quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, and quick, quick, slow, slow, and then we finish with a basic. So we bring her in for a quick, quick come across for slow, slow, I'm still out in front of her. Now, if you watch her footwork, she is gonna do half, 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 none. That's N-O-N-E, not N-U-N, okay? So she's gonna do half, 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 none as I step in place for quick, quick, slow, slow. All right, guys, let's show you what it looks like to music, and then we have a bonus feature for you guys. So we have quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow. Quick, quick. I wonder how many times in my life I've said <laughs> quick, 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 slow, slow. All right, guys, this video was like a two for one special because you learned the whip with the inside turn. Now you're going to learn the whip with the outside turn. But after that, now stick around, watch this one, because after that, I'm going to teach you guys something that applies to all things. This is something you got to know. And for a lot of you guys, it will completely turn that light to where a lot of things make sense that didn't make sense before, okay? So we'll show you again the, the whip with the inside turn and then we're gonna show you the whip with the outside turn. Here's the whip with the inside turn. Quick, quick, slow, slow. Quick, quick, slow, slow. Quick, quick, slow, slow. And quick, quick, slow, slow. Okay, so from this side, we're gonna show you the whip with the outside turn. So we have quick, quick, slow, slow. Quick, quick, slow, slow. All the same up to this point. But now we get this outside turn, okay? So the wheel with the inside turn and the wheel with the outside turn are pretty much the same pattern except for one, you know, has an inside turn, the other one has an outside turn. But the question comes from how do we make that happen? How does she know? How does he lead it to let her know, okay? So this has a lot to do with timing and when. That goes into yeah. the big secret. So we're gonna break down the whip with the outside turn and then we'll teach you the stuff. Guys, the cool thing is, is that the whip with the outside turn starts out exactly the same. So you don't have to learn a whole new pattern from scratch. It just has a different ending. So you have quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow. This is all the same. Now, when we bring her in, it starts the same and then we get into the turn portion. So we have a quick, quick, all familiar, and then we step across, we bring our hand up for slow, but now she starts the turn for slow. So she's actually gonna turn in between that first slow and the second slow. All right guys, we're gonna show you that all the way through. So we have quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. She turns and continues for quick, quick, slow, slow. Now, the big thing here is that she's going to turn at a different time, but we got to let her know that she's going to turn at a different time, okay? So yes. if we want her to turn at a certain point, she can't just assume that's going to happen. There's a big difference between pattern recognition and actual following, okay? Yes. So Huge if difference. you get into doing the same thing the same way all the time, she's going to assume, oh, I know that, and then she kind of does the rest. So you got to mix it up, but you got to know how to communicate. There's a different ending to things. That is actual lead and follow. So now there's a secret here. When we bring the hand up, how do we bring the hand up? Let's show you that. All right, guys, when we come across, we are going to bring the hand up on both of those patterns. But I want you to pay attention to my left hand. 
This time I'm doing an inside turn because my fingertips are pointed inwards. If I were doing an outside turn, my fingertips would be pointed outwards. She is going to turn in the direction I turn my fingertips. So if we watch this again, when I come across, if I'm leading the outside turn, which is a new one, when I bring that hand up, my hand is actually pointed outwards. Because if my hand is pointed outwards, I can't really turn her inwards, right? But I can turn her outwards. If my hand were pointed inwards, I can't turn her outwards, but I can turn her inwards. That is just like a little secret to let her know. That's actually gonna make things a whole Very lot more clear. comfortable, right? So when we come in for that, we're actually gonna bring the hand up and make sure our fingertips are slightly tilted outwards. Then from there, we can actually start that turn and continue it through over her head. All right, so we're bringing her in for a quick, quick, and now we make the decision, is it an inside turn or is it an outside turn? We're gonna lean an outside okay. turn, so when we step across, we point those fingers to the outside. Now she turns from that step. So we gotta take our hand that's on her back, back here, and rotate her frame for slow, okay? Now that she's got that momentum to turn, all we have to do is use that hand to continue it through, making a nice little halo over the angel's head as we turn her, okay? So she's actually gonna turn in between the two slows. Now we're gonna get into the big secret. We've already touched on it, but this is going to change everything. We're gonna talk about our feet. All right, guys, I'm gonna reveal this big secret to you guys. It's gonna change everything. So you'll notice that Rose is stepping forward with her left foot right now. And because she's moving down the line of dance, her left foot is forward. There's only one direction I can comfortably turn her now, which is to the left. If her left foot is forward, she can comfortably initiate a turn starting to the left. On the other hand, if she were forward with her right foot, she can't comfortably turn to the left anymore. Now she would turn to the right, all right? Leaders, you have to keep that in mind that if she, you want her to turn to the left, you have to place her on the foot on the left side, right? So if she's on her left foot and she's facing forward, she can comfortably turn that direction. However, if her left foot is forward, she can't comfortably turn to the right. It's just awkward. Okay, so this is gonna explain why in this pattern we're gonna turn her either on the, like after the second slow or right before the second slow. Which direction is she going to turn? So if we did the inside turn, she's gonna be turning to the left. That means that she needs to be on her left foot. So let's show you that. So if we're separate and we go quick, quick, slow, I'm gonna wait till after that second slow. She has to step forward to get herself on that left foot. And now that she's on that left foot, she can now comfortably turn to the left. But in the outside turn, she's actually gonna be turning to the right, so I have to turn her off of the right foot. So we have quick, quick, and now she's on her right foot for slow. Because she's forward on her right foot, she can begin her rotation to the right and continue that through. That's gonna affect everything across the board, not just in two-step, but in any time you're dancing in yeah. any dance, okay? So you have to make sure that she's on the correct foot in order to keep her comfortable. So leaders, what you have to do is you have to be more worried about her footwork than yours because you're asking her to do the stuff. We love you for it. Right? Yes. Keep in mind where she is more than what you're doing, okay? So I know all beginners are, well, what's my footwork? What's my count? Yeah. What am I doing? But leaders, you're gonna be a better partner and much more fun to dance with if you're paying more attention to her than for you, okay? So again, if we're doing the inside turn, she's gonna be turning to the left, so we have to place her forward on the left foot first. So we have quick, quick, slow. She's on her left foot, and now she can begin the rotation. However, she's doing an outside turn. It's quick, quick, slow. I'm on her, she's on her right foot, and now she can begin that rotation off of that right foot. That's gonna be across the board. Now, one key thing that I said, for those of you who really wanna go a little bit deeper on this, you have to turn in the direction of the foot on that side. Now, I didn't say she turns to the left always on the left foot. That would be a lie, okay? She would turn to the left around the left foot if she's facing forward. Now I'm getting confusing. But if she's facing backwards, okay? So if she is back on her uh, left foot right now, right now she can turn to the right, even though she's on her left foot, because her left foot is on the right side, okay? So it's on the foot on the right side. So now she's back with her left foot, and I can turn her to the right off of that left foot. It's gonna be exactly the opposite. If she were back with that opposite foot, now she's back with her right foot, but her right foot is on the left side because she's facing backwards. So leaders, what you gotta do is you gotta pay attention to which foot she is on and make sure the direction you want her to turn, she has actually got her weight on the foot on that practice. side. 
Guys, the awesome thing about this pattern is there's so many different ways to do it. There's different endings, there's different variations, hand changes, all this stuff. Yes. If you want to learn more of that, click that link right there. That is xdance.com. We give you a free month of unlimited learning. There's multiple, I think there's multiple different variations of this whip yeah. pattern in there, a bunch Definitely. of other cool stuff. So check that out, get a free month, completely different level than what you're finding here. So we're going to demonstrate this to music and then we'll see you guys next time.